My shirt says I'd rather be home with my dog because it's true. <laughs>、It's、Kay, welcome back to my channel. And I have a very panty, tired Clover here because he just got in from playing at the park, so he's really ready to take a nap. But today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cleaning and organizing for our little canine friends here. Now, if you've watched me for any period of time at all, you know that I absolutely am obsessed. With my dog. I have actually had cats my entire life. I think I got my first cat when I was six, six years old. Yeah, my parents asked me if I wanted a cat or a dog. I promptly answered dog, and they said, well, they're like, actually, would you settle for a cat? And I was like, sure, I love all furry creatures. I love them all. Give them all to me. So I had a cat named Pepper, and then when I moved out, In, on my own, I had a cat named Paddington, and then I had a cat named Min, and I loved them all equally. <laughs> However, I never stopped wanting to have a dog. I, whenever I see people walking dogs on the street, I was like, oh, I want to have a dog, and I hung out with dogs a lot. And finally, when I had the lifestyle、uh, to have a dog, I said, this is it, we are finally getting a dog. So the main difference I found is the dogs have a lot more stuff. They've got leashes, collars,、uh, harnesses. Coats, jackets, I have boots for my dog. I've got water bottles for my dog when we go out. We've got toys, we've got inside toys, we've got outside toys, we've got blankets, we've got stuff to clean them with because dogs get real dirty. We've got stuff to clean my house with because dogs make your house dirty. So, today we're gonna talk a little bit about how to organize that stuff and how to store some of that stuff so that it doesn't completely take over your house and so that it's easy for everyone in the house to find the stuff, including、uh, your dog. First, let's talk about dog toys. Dog toys are probably one of the more fun things. I、uh, Admittedly, I have a problem, and every time I see a cute toy in the store, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. Especially the food toys, for some reason, are especially cute. So I bring them home, and what makes it even worse is that Clover loves every toy. Like every new toy I bring home for him is his freaking favorite, so it's very satisfying.、Um, but organizing dog toys can get a little bit crazy. So、uh, my tried and true method is to have a basket or an open bin of some sort so that the dog can get to their own toys the best. And it's okay if it's a Little deeper, so it, I feel like it gives him a little challenge to do if he needs to find his favorite toy at the bottom of the basket. He just digs through and makes a mess. I got my dog toy organization bucket from Marshalls. It was really cheap. I think it was only like $10. And the liner comes out, so if the toys get really gross and the liner gets really gross, I can just wash it in the washing machine. What a lot of people don't consider is that the toys, a lot of plush toys and a lot of the like rubber toys too, can get really dirty. They are putting their mouths on everything and they're getting slobbered. On all the toys, and they're then we're throwing them, and they're getting the dirt from the floor sticking to the toy, especially if it's already wet with slobber. So, toys can get really disgusting and start to harbor a lot of bacteria. So, every now and again, it is great to clean your toys. I usually try to do that at least once a month at the very Least,、um, I do it like once every two weeks. So, all you do is toss the toy into the washing machine and、uh, with a little mild detergent, or I just Just like to put it in there with a little bit of vinegar and maybe a little bit of baking soda and just put it through a regular wash cycle. Even if the toys have squeakers in them, they can usually survive a wash and a dry cycle actually. I toss them right into the dryer. They get really nice and clean, and some of the squeakers might take a little longer to dry. I just set them out to. Get dry, and I don't have my dog play with them for a while, but they actually do dry out completely and they're good to go. Toys that have hard surfaces,、uh, you may be tempted to put in the dishwasher. Just te- check the dis- instructions on the toy about how to clean it. You can usually just throw those into a bowl with some vinegar, a little bit of baking soda, and clean those up too,、uh, because those toys harbor germs as well. Another thing I recommend with dogs and having doing the like the toy cleaning rotation is to actually have a rotating. Set of toys. So there's one group of toys where your dog plays with for a while, and then while you're washing that group of toys, there's another group of toys that can come out. If your dog really likes plush toys, I know that there's some dogs that really don't care for plush toys. They just want, you know, balls and things like that, or they just want to like snuggle with you.、Um, but my dog really likes plush toys. I actually recommend the same method to my clients who are parents with their kids. As I have, I have them, if they have a lot of toys, I suggest that they put some of those toys away, put them in the attic for a while. And then 
uh, rotate the toy collection so that they don't get bored. And dogs have the same sort of sense of boredom they get with toys. And a lot of the time, if you rotate toys, it's kind of like Christmas when the new toys come out. They're like, whoa, I haven't seen this one for a while. Really exciting. Keeping dog beds and dog blankets clean is also something you should consider. Uh, having a bed where you can actually take off the cover and clean it is really helpful. Or if you can just throw the whole thing in the washing machine, very helpful. They do get really dirty from time to time. And it's nice to have a nice clean bed. If you notice the bed is getting a little dingy, a little smelly, it's the time to toss it right in the washing machine. Again, just like the toys with a little bit of mild detergent or uh, some baking soda and some vinegar. That's usually the, what I like to wash with. And they go right through the wash cycle, usually through the dryer cycle, pretty okay too. So I have a group of blankets that I only use for putting my dog on the bed, or if my dog is really dirty, I will cover the couch with it to help protect the couch against getting too dirty. So it's really nice to have a group of dedicated dog blankets for that purpose. I have a couple that I've bought from Marshalls. They were only like $12 or something like that. Having a dog blanket can keep your home surface is clean when you have a dirty dog comes in from the park with muddy paws and you don't want to deal with all that just toss the blanket on there you're good to go for some reason my dog has a lot more treats than my cats ever had in their entire life <laughs> because you know why i think it's because my cats didn't exercise as much but my dog is always out exercising so he can afford to have some treats so i have a dedicated space for his treats and his food it's over at that drawer let's take a look so over here we have clover's doggy treat heaven. So we have one drawer dedicated and he's come right over <laughs> because he heard me open this. But I've got some bins in here to separate all of the different things so that it doesn't get too crazy in this drawer. I've got one bin for his food and I got these actually at Marshall's last year. I'll put a card above in which I redid this drawer with these bins, but they have a cute little bone handle on them and you just go like that. <laughs> and then airtight they're so good and I wrote on top of them with chalk marker and I have this one for his chewy things and it looks like he's got some duck feet in there as well and this one down here is for fish skins which are one of his favorite and lining the drawer is my very nice mat from exact mats it is cut to fit exactly the sides of the drawer and it fits perfectly and it's a nice thick plastic. The people at Exact Mats reached out to me and sent me this product to try and I really, really like it. I could barely get in there with my fingers, but do you see how it's cut to fit the drawer exactly? And it's a nice, thick plastic material. So all I had to do was send them my exact measurements and just like the name, it's exactly fitting perfectly the length and the width of the drawer. So yay. Oh, I didn't mean to take that off. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you are being so good. Do you want something? Do you want one of these fish skins? Mmm, really? You want one? Okay. Can you do a trick for the people? Can you speak? Let's try again. Speak. So I've got whatever treats don't fit in like this this business the stuff over here like the stuff in bags and this is where I keep his Kong toys so that's if we leave for a few hours I usually give him one of these filled with like some peanut butter and berries and things like that and back here I actually have a little travel thing of his food so if he needs if we need to go somewhere really quickly and I need to drop him off someplace I'll just grab this and give it to the babysitter so she knows to give him dinner and breakfast. So that is Clover's awesome snack area. <laughs> hey Clover, are you impressed? And I redid his food area and I got him a spaniel bowl finally. I was very, very sick of him putting his ears in the water. He's probably gonna get some water right now. <laughs> he would drink water and get his ears in the water and that drove me crazy because there was little drops of, droplets of water all over the floor and it drove me absolutely bonkers. I would step in it. And I can't believe I did that for years and years. Look, no more wet ears. Yay! 
Anyway, I decided to refresh his area with a brand new spaniel bowl so that he didn't get his ears wet, and I got him a brand new puzzle bowl so that when he eats his kibble, it doesn't go down so quickly. And I actually put a new mat down from Exact Mats. They cut this into the size of a bone. How cute is that? And it was actually made to fit the size of the space, it's a bone. It's made of super thick plastic. It's really, really cute. And uh, I used it so that he could not spill water all over the place, although that's not a, really a problem anymore. It's more for me now than it is for Clover. But as you can see, really nice, thick material again. And I love his new revamped food area. And right on here, I just stuck his Canine Good Citizen Award. He got this, because he's a good boy. Are you a good boy? <laughs> yes, you are. So in our front closet, he actually has a little bit of storage as well. He's got a whole grooming kit right here. So he is a long haired dog, so he needs a lot of grooming care and his ears are long too. So he's got his toothbrush, all of his little sprays and brushes and eye wipes and ear wipes all in there along with his little set of clippers back there all in this little bin I got from Marshalls. And there's usually doggy wipes there, but I am out so I have to go buy some new ones. And in this drawer, he has all of his balls that he likes to play with. We have to keep these sort of under wraps because he will just keep bringing us these if they're not hard to get to. So here's where we have a lot of the backup toys that are out of rotation right now. And we've got a towel here for washing him and along with some other, a paw cleaner, a cooling coat and his cooling mat when he comes home from a really hot day. It's a really cool dog mat that cools when dogs sit on it. <laughs> he really likes it and uh, it feels nice when it's a hot day outside. In this box right above here, I have a bunch of his seasonal items, stuff that's out of use right now, and a bunch of his extra stuff, like extra collars, extra coats, and extra things like that. That's the box when it's open, and as you can see, he's got extra boots, extra leashes, and all that stuff just in case I need it, and also a cone just in case we need that too. Um, I hope that we don't need a cone anytime soon, and those are all of his winter coats gonna come out soon because winter is a common, right Clover? I've also talked about dogs and people having a go zone, and this is our go zone, so of course we've got his harness and leash and collar right next to the door, ready to go, but he's also got a little drawer full of stuff that I grab when I take him outside or take him for a walk. So I've got his water bottle, extra poop bags, a little uh, treat bag for training, his boots, and a little collapsible bowl when you go to the park where there's water. So he's got a go zone as well. And as far as extra dog food is concerned, I did buy a really cute dog food container from Marshalls yesterday. This is, uh, I, I will link it down below if I can find it online, but I did get it from Marshalls. Um, but it's really cute. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I love to take things out of their original packaging and put them into containers because it just makes everything so much easier and easy to find. And it just, you just refill the container. You don't have to worry about bags and things that don't stack very well. So if I need to, put things on top of the container. I can totally do that. It comes with a little scoop, which is super adorable. And it says Bon Appetit on the front. How cute is that? It holds 26 pounds of food, I think. So we usually buy a big 20 pound bag of food because we like to buy in bulk. And we don't, right now we're keeping this in the closet, in the coat closet. This is not a great place for this right now, but uh, soon we will have a little more space so I, I know exactly where it's gonna go in the next place. Look at look at how creepy he is, look. Oh, oh, I see, I see. This is, this is what the reason was. We're not doing that right now. The one last place I wanna cover is the car. My dog loves to go for car rides, so we've got this awesome seat from Kurgo. I don't know if they make this exact color combination anymore, but it was the one that I saw in Petco and I needed one when my last seat broke <laughs> and I had to pull over and go to a Petco and get him a brand new one. It keeps your dog nice and safe and elevates them, allows them to see out the window so that they are less prone to get motion sickness. I know that my dog loves to look out the window and in the seat pocket, there's a little place for extra poop bags and an extra ball and extra wipes just in case we need that. And there is an extra leash in there as well, just in case something happens. Things have broken before. Uh, 
and I've needed like I've needed lots and lots of wipes before so and I've I've just needed stuff so I always keep that stuff in my car ready to go just in case because there have been a few just in cases that actually happened so those are my recommendations on how to organize your dog stuff. If you're curious about how to keep your house clean with a dog, I did do a video on that. I will link it in the card up above just in case you wanna watch that. There are a lot of good tips there on how to keep your house smelling clean and fresh when you have a dirty canine friend, no offense. I'm gonna get off the camera and play with this guy maybe a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I publish all kinds of home organizing and home decor videos and dog videos every week for you to enjoy. So join us here, we have fun. And I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Shake. Yes. Lay down. Yeah. Roll over. Wow, good job. Speak. <laughs> yeah. I gotta work your way up to it, man. All right, there's some crumbs. Do you get some crumbs? Yeah.